Hey guys, Viper Spectra have sent me through their new light series to test. It's the XS series. This is the XS 1500, which is a 150 watt version, suitable for a two by two uh, grow area. Um, and I'm gonna compare it against their previous model, the P, I, I tested the P1000. Um, but I'm gonna show you the difference between the P1500 and the X1500. Um, XS 1500 because uh, well it'll become apparent to you in a second. So first of all the XS 1500 um, it's uh, got a, a pretty good efficiency. I tested it in the 2x2 two two, um, tested it at 37 centimeters hanging height uh, which is just about midway in terms of their um, recommended hanging heights between 12 and 18 inches. Um, I yeah got a good result it's 1.88 mic usable ppf per watt uh, micromoles per watt which is a a good solid result um strangely though it's slightly less than i measured for the p series um and yet the xs series seems to be their higher efficiency or higher certainly higher price model it's 170 dollars versus the 150 watt p series is 120 dollars so it's 40% more efficient, sorry, 40% more uh, costly, more expensive, but the same efficiency. So um, I was scratching my head a little bit about this today and trying to understand why. Couldn't really figure out why that would be. They do use um, Samsung LM301Bs, so uh, sort of more um, brand name LEDs in this, and they use a Meanwell driver again a sort of big brand uh, driver and component cost would be higher so you justify an increase in price however in the same 150 watt model the XS has 208 LEDs 288 LEDs the P series at 100 the 150 watt P series has 450 LEDs um, so like nearly 50% more and are over 50% more and and therefore the LEDs on the P series are being driven at lower current, lower power, less stress, and that tends to allow them to run cooler, longer, and more efficiently. So, uh, yeah, uh, other than the fact that you got, as I, as I said, the big brand name on um, the XS series, I don't really don't see the benefit of paying 40% more for that model over this one. Um, just sort of cross check that I was you know that 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 um i was missing something i did run the heat sensor over them and uh i could see from the imaging camera that the again the p series is actually running cooler uh, both the driver and the leds are running cooler than the um xs series and you can see here the build quality you can see this the framing here this heat sink and um, the end plates and then the uh, detail with the uh, dimmer is very similar on the P series and the XS series. They are physically um, same build quality pretty much uh, and same form. All the LEDs are protected by silica, silicon coatings and boat cases, um, warranties, all that sort of stuff the same. So uh, a bit baffled by the XS uh yeah a bit baffled by it I, I i would i still recommend the p series highly um just just in terms of bang for book it's extraordinarily good um particularly as a starter light a little bit confused by the xs series maybe somebody out there sees something i don't be happy to take that on board please let me know um just by the way when i was reviewing the two of them just to make sure i was in the right ballpark in terms of uh, results and that I wasn't missing something I did check with Dr. Coco for cannabis uh, who's uh, tested both these lights as well and his results are very similar so yeah um, I don't think I'm missing anything major but um, there you go uh, Viper Spectra sent me the light I don't get paid there's no affiliate program or anything like that but they did send me some links uh, which I think have discounts for the XS series uh, so they're in the description below and uh, yeah, there you go. Anything else? Uh, any comments or any suggestions? 
uh, please leave in the comments below and take care.